Piezoelectricity is the generation of electric charge in a substance by applying a mechanical pressure. That means if we squeeze certain materials, including some types of crystal and ceramic, and biological matter such as bone, DNA and some proteins, we'll produce charge. The prefix piezo comes from the Greek piezine, which means to squeeze or press. The piezoelectric effect was discovered by French physicists Jacques and Pierre Curie in 1880. In the case of a piezoelectric lighter, for instance, when we press down on the lever, pressurized butane, a flammable gas, is released and a spark produced. The gas is ignited and we get a flame. But where did the spark come from? There's a piezo crystal under the lever which is squeezed when the lever is pressed down. At a certain pressure, it's enough to create an electric charge which can jump between conductive wires and so cause a spark. So how do piezo crystals generate charge? To understand this, we need to enter the world of the atom. The most commonly used piezo crystal is quartz, which consists of a lattice of silicon and oxygen atoms one silicon atom for every two oxygens. The silicon atoms in quartz are partially positive, whereas the oxygen atoms are partially negative. This is because the so-called electronegativity of oxygen is greater than that of silicon, 3.44 compared with 1.90. This means that the oxygen atoms attract the shared electrons more strongly than do the silicon atoms so that the shared electrons are closer to the oxygen atoms. This makes the oxygen atoms partially negative and the silicon atoms partially positive. Here's a depiction of the lattice structure of quartz. We need to simplify it to understand what happens when the lattice is squeezed. Let's consider this section. Silicon atoms are shown in blue and oxygen atoms in red. If we apply mechanical stress to the lattice like this, the center of negativity moves toward the bottom, whereas the center of positivity moves upward. So positive charge builds up at the top of the crystal and negative charge at the bottom. If we wire up this charged area, we'll produce a flow of electricity. We're completely dependent on electricity today. Much of the electricity comes from burning fossil fuels, nuclear power, hydroelectric schemes, and green alternatives such as solar and wind energy. Piezoelectricity offers another promising possibility. We can install piezo crystals under roads and pavements to generate electricity. We can even install piezo crystals in our shoes so that while we walk, we can charge our cell phones. The possibilities of piezoelectricity are vast. In 1881, inverse piezoelectricity was discovered. This is the opposite effect. By supplying electricity to a piezo crystal, we cause the crystal to change shape slightly, which means we can generate sound waves from piezo crystals. In 1917 came the first practical application of piezoelectricity. It was used as part of a sonar system for detecting submarines. Today, piezoelectricity is used in medical devices, intruder alarms, exercise equipment, computer motherboards, ultrasonic rodent and insect repellents, pin pads, sensors, toys, musical greeting cards, and in many other ways. Piezoelectricity is one of the cleanest of energy sources, producing, as it does, zero waste or pollution. With our growing population and increasing need for more and greener energy, we can expect this fascinating effect to play a bigger and bigger role in our lives.